Good game, Jamie Aston. And it's an early, early morning, about 4 a.m. And we are about to do an unboxing of my new fish finder. This is a Garmin Echo Mount 7.4 SV. This fish finder has everything. It has everything. <clears throat> my current fish finders are the Garmin Echo 200 and the Garmin Echo uh, 151. I continue to stay with the Garmin family of fish finders because the 200 and the 151 were really good to me. I had no issues with them. Um, when I bought them, got them for a really good price years ago and um, they were black and white but I never had an issue. I wanted color, but there was nothing that really justified color for me being on the kayak. Um, but some of you may know, some of you might not, but I'm, I'm getting a new boat. We have a kayak, we put fish finders on kayaks, we put fish finders on float tubes and on my inflatable boat. But now I'm getting a Tracker Heritage 40th anniversary boat. So it should be here any day now. But I've been all, I've been buying accessories for the boat, and this is one of the things I bought. This is the blue charts. Some of you may have noticed that blue charts mean it has a uh, coastal uh, charts of the coastal U.S. and the Great Lakes. And you say, well, that doesn't do you any doggone good. You're uh, fishing lakes. You're not going to be taking that boat, especially out into the ocean or anything like that. You're right. Also included is the Lake View card. It doesn't say anywhere on the box. Oh, it does. There's a sticker. Lakeview HD map data card included. So, to be able to get an echo map that not only has GPS maps inside of it, but it also has quick draw for only $450. Screaming, screaming deal. You all have a little bit more time to go and get this thing. I recommend you go and get it right now if you're looking to get the... So open this thing up and I'll be honest with you all I've already opened it <laughs> but I didn't like that video so we kind of boxed it up and did it again here is the unit now this is like the 2017 model the new one the only addition really is it has a touch screen this one does not have a touch screen the Bass Pro Shops ad is clearly mistaking they have the nine and the seven inch uh, picture and all the wording says you're gonna get the new one for that good price but it's actually this one I've called them and they say it was a typo blah 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 so here's the unit nice I like it I like it so let's see what else we get and I forgot that furnace was on I don't think this thing is gonna sound right all right let's put this to the side put it on top of some ammo we come with a mounting plate. There's a mounting plate. And it's just really a, a, a nice diagram that you can use to, uh, if you have a, a boat with a nice console, you can put it down there. All right. We have your instructions. Also your map card. What I'm happy to see that comes with is a cover. Previous fish finders, you have to pay an additional $10, $15 on Amazon and get a cover if you wanted one. So that's awesome. Here's your bracket. And the bracket has a nice little cover. If you decide to use the bracket and not use it flush mount, when you take the fish finder off to keep it off your boat, um, or store it away, you have this nice little cover to protect the wiring. You can easily adjust these knobs on the side to allow this thing to swivel. You just mount it, you know, and you're good to go. This is uh, pretty awesome. On the back, you have your power, and uh, the power, you have uh, your NEMA 2000, which I'm not going to be using sonar for your transducer and you could actually use pano picks with this so this thing is very much a great future proof uh future proofed fish finder 
you the deal is excellent if you have a bigger boat or you plan to use any of these nice things like the uh panoptics what did i say panopix or something panoptics uh cable that is going to be excellent and uh so we'll get back to the bracket in just a moment i'll put it to the side um you have your mounting hardware for your transducer and such and you have this transducer right here. I wasn't expecting such a large transducer. This thing is, that's about eight inches, nine inches right there. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. Big hands. Um, yeah, so, I mean, that thing is rather large. I'm used to, I thought it would be. I mean, all my other fish finder uh, Garmin transducers are about that big. Um, but this one is so big and it's going to be hanging off the back of the boat. Um, it would really be nice on the trolling motor because it would just sit on the trolling motor and fit right in between the base and the blade. So, you know, either, either position works. It's just large. We don't need that right now. All right. And before I started up, I just want to show you all that this is the door for the memory card. And we all, we already have the Lakeview card on it inserted. So... Let's power it up. There it is. One thing that um, if you're used to using an older color fish finder or anything else like that, this one has a nice VGA plus screen. Um, it's it's uh, much higher resolution than what the old units were. So um, that's pretty doggone awesome. <laughs> Just going to wait for it to power up. All information is pres uh, presented for reference only. You assume total responsibility. That went fast before I could agree. I didn't agree. See, no touch screen. But we have these directional paths on the side. And we're going to select it. All right. And um, store demonstration. Sure. If we were driving along, we could have... Um, you know, that layout, that's pretty cool. Navigational chart. Okay, that's just top-down view, great. Let's go and check out frequently used. We haven't used anything. Select autopilot, what is that? One there. Is that the autopilot from the NEMA 2000 information? So you can just see that information, gauges, trip compass all of that in engine environment you can see information from your system we probably won't have that stuff use for that media what is media is that from the situation as well i'm not sure if this thing has any type of has to be from the radio but i wonder if that's interesting maybe i could tie this thing all the way into the radio system and Maybe installing the NEMA 2000 or something might be worthwhile just for some of these. Take advantage of some of the features. All right. Sonar. Of course, we have traditional. Great. We have Clearview, which is new for me. I can't wait to use that. This is going to be your clear view, is the same as your down view. We can use that on, um, you know, as we're fishing. But the feature I really want to use was side view. So as I'm cruising along, I can actually see what's on the sides of me. Um, and just see mainly structure. But I've lost fishing poles in the water and things like that. It might be kind of cool just to cruise in the spot to see if you can see an image of it. Great. Traditional plus down view or clear view. What's cool about this uh, setup is that now I will be able to see. You just can't. The traditional method is always great. It's just the bottom line. You can really see fish arches much better. That's really what the fish look like underwater. These little specks that you see, those are fish. But you just, you know... Depending on the color, you might have to change the color for your best viewing perspective, but you don't really see. But 
this is where it comes into play. Now, as you see where we start to get the structure, weeds, you know, trees, what have you in the wire, we're down 30 feet. So yeah, this could be a tree. You know, over here, you see there are fish inside. Of, we see some arches and stuff, or it could be air pockets. But you see the structure, but you can't really tell the structure over here. You always have to guess, oh, that's a tree. Or that's really hard. That's a boulder down there. Or that's a rock. So that's where using um, traditional plus um, down view uh, simultaneously works really, really well. So you can truly see what you're on top of. I'm going to chop top of a tree. Those are probably crappie, you know, what have you. So let's go back over. Clear view plus side view. Now, when we're cruising along and driving, trying to find fish, this is not a bad method to use, too. Um, you can clearly tell the structure below you. This is on the left and right side, left, right side, and this is right below you. So some of this stuff we're seeing is, you know, pushed out on the uh looks like on the left side too um even though it's a tree i see the markings going in that direction a little bit more we just see like little stumps or something like that on that side but over here we actually see the logs that we're running by and such so you know and of course we see the little specks right there we don't necessarily see anything to the left and right over here but i see some stuff way out there that could be some fish, but, you know, this thing is looking left and right, you know, pretty far. So, anywho, that's pretty cool. So, we could do all three. Now, that's going to be quite interesting right there. It's a lot of information. Sometimes you got too much information in front of you and you can't view it fast enough. But definitely for a quick view, it's like, hey, I see arches down here and I see structure. And there we are. That's just the biggest thing you're looking for. Arches tell the tell the biggest story. But using side view and clear view, if you want to distinguish those arches between actual fish or air pockets or something else that could throw a sonar off, you know, they're not 100% marking fish. They're returning data that we interpret as fish or creatures. So... They anything can share those same characteristics, like I said, an air pocket or something. So, um, great. Now, the cool thing about this stuff is we can start to, um, you know, minim uh, change this, and we'll do that in just a second. Let's go back. I'm pressing the wrong button. What is split zoom? So we're looking at the same traditional, but one side looks like it's probably going to start zooming and stuff. This has an auto zoom on this side, and this one might just stay exactly what it is. Give us the full reading while the other side kind of helps us out a little more. I mean, you just can't get past traditional. That's where, especially from a glance, the, the one I'm going to put up front is most likely, I really want to put one that has all these special features just because, but... You know, so many times people waste time with electronics on the boat. I mean, how many of us have caught nice fish without using an electronic at all? So don't go crazy. This stuff does not make you catch fish. You know, even though now I have more information on the bottom, below the surface, you still use your brain. You know, you can, you find cover. That's what you're looking for. And that's all this thing is helping you do. It's aiding you. It's giving you more visual. And here's a flasher. Uh oh, flashers are great for jigging, ice fishing, where you're not really just caring about the cover. You might just want to see, hey, my lure is going in between this depth and the fish are down here. So you can start to see your object moving along in here and the activity and such. So uh, flashers, we got that now. And that's just stuff is good for right at a glance. You're just getting a glance of it. You're not just... Uh-oh. Uh, my puppy, she was just crying at the door to come out to the garage. And so she was with me when we bought this. So I had to go get her. Anywho. Um, data graphs. Select that guy. All right. We have some graph information. You know, great. 
All right, so we don't have the transducer for this, but <laughs> real view, look at that. That's what real view will do if we put that transducer on that that adapter on here. That is a 3D image. It's not just right there where you're looking at. That is a 3D image of truly the information that's being returned from you. Wow, live view forward. And we've seen videos. Some people have these devices set up. You know, it really makes me almost want to do something like that. I would definitely want to put this on the bow <laughs> if I had a graph like this. That is just interesting front view. Wow. You know, for the last few years, there, there are fish finders, and it's like, oh, we added color. Oh, great. You know, it wasn't adding any new features that were really future-proofing. It was just another addition. We're getting to the point now where we're getting some pretty doggone cool technologies, combinations. Combination just has where we can, you know, really set up different, you know, views. And here's the one that I think everyone will probably use is combination where you can make a custom view. So any of those views that we looked at, we can start to make custom graphs and um, screens. That's awesome. All right. User data. Routes, waypoint, tracks. Of course, like I told you all before, this has uh, quick draw, so I can make my own maps when I go. A lot of lakes on here, when you get the lake view card, it's going to have big lakes. Like for me, that's Berryessa, uh, Clear Lake, and stuff like that. But when it, some of these smaller reservoirs, it just has a shoreline. It doesn't have any information about the lake. Um, just for me using my fish finders, kayaking around for the last few years, I know different depths at different locations, but now when I use this, it's not guessing. It's going to start, I can use quick draw to capture that information and make my own map of those, uh, places that I fish that are not included on the card. What's media about? Oh, that navigation info. Other vessel, blah, 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 tides, current. All right. Yeah, so let's see back. Is this it? Is this it? Did we make it to the end of it? Okay, we can rearrange the home menu. And we can use this mark button to start marking spots and things like that. I wonder if we were looking. We are in done. Uh, you know. Let's do mark and see what happened. All right, so easily when you press mark, oh, shoot, didn't want to do that, but we can do, let's delete, oh, delete this, select, yeah, okay. I don't know how I can delete that one up top, but anywho, uh, when you press mark, you can do a man overboard. That's instantly, like when you're driving and moving along, especially in the ocean, big water, and someone calls overboard, you need to be able to press mark and do that right spot to hit that location at least. Because you're going to have to start turning around depending on the vessel. You you know, it might take a minute to get back to them, X, Y, and Z. But you can capture this information for search and rescue. Second reason you can use man overboard just to quickly mark a point that you want to um, say, hey, that's a hot spot for fishing or something. Because, as you see, when you enter a waypoint and such, you're going to be, you know, selecting a lot more information. <laughs> you know, oh my goodness, we got drinking water over here. There's a deep drop-off fish attractor uh, where you drop your own structure in the water. Fishing area, fishing area, one, two, three, four. How many do we have? So, let's go back home. This has been a long overview for my new Garmin Echo Map 74SV. And, you know, I can't wait to get it mounted on my boat. I just need to get my boat. 
Um, I guess the only thing we didn't use was, I gotta see. I guess since the card is in, maybe it does the lake view automatically, but maybe when I put it in um, non-store mode, it will kind of pick up everything the way it should be. Um, oh man, overboard, can you get to that real quick? Looks like we didn't finish. The screen, I didn't notice this little bar on the side. You can go down a little bit further. So we have a man overboard right there. Navigate to this man overboard. <laughs> Select. So it can start engaging autopilot, things like that to start traveling. That's pretty cool. Um, let's go to settings, system. Let's see, is that the same? Display, beeper, GPS, auto power. Demo own, so that's why we'll turn that off later. What is system information? Do we have factory reset? Yeah, yeah, that's what we'll be doing when we turn this thing off. Okay, so thank you all for watching this long video of me unboxing and doing a demonstration of some of the many features on this Garmin Echo. Um, I have to spend some more time with it myself. You're gonna have to spend some time with it. You know, there are many people out there on YouTube that show you how to read a fish finder and such if you're unfamiliar with it, but you know, you just have to put a little time into it. I think this thing is an excellent deal, especially right now, spring sale at Bass Pro Shops, $450, $450 plus uh, your uh, member. Here's the deal, if you're a member, it's a free little membership thing. You'll get a $25 gift card that you have to use by April 1st. Second thing, if you're a member, um, you get those triple count crown points for rewards. Like I said, that's like $30. If you use a MasterCard to pay for it, in the flyer there's this little coupon. You, some people don't pay attention to it because it looks like you have to use your Bass Pro Shops credit card. No, it can be a MasterCard debit card. So if you have a MasterCard in your wallet, Use that coupon, you can save an additional 10 plus dollars depending on how much you spend. If you use a Bass Pro Shops membership card, then whatever that value is, is double. So instead of 10, it'd be 20. Instead of you know, $50, it'll be $100 that you will get back um, or save instantly. I'm not sure which one it is, but I didn't see the coupon when I was there. <laughs> it wasn't until after I started reading the ad, I've been, I'm like, hey, it's not the same unit. But uh, you can really get this thing for you could probably beat any fish finder price right now. Right now, you could beat any fish finder price with similar fish features at Bass Pro Shops. And you don't always get a great deal at Bass Pro Shops. You get a pretty wide selection, but you don't always get a great deal. But right now, this is an excellent deal. Excellent deal. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, comments, please let me know. Jamie Aston, out.